friends, welcome back. We are going to try another night at Goodwill tonight and see what goodies we can find. So of course, as usual, I'm starting off in the bag section. A little slim pickings tonight compared to the other night, but that's okay. This is kind of neat. Check this out. That's kind of boho. That's cute for the summertime. That is very different. I think we're going to try that. I see fringe. You guys know me and fringe. It's a cute bag. $6.99. Sam and Hadley. now. I like this one, even though it's a Vera Bradley and these, you know, are hit or miss. I like that this is purple and this would make a nice work laptop bag. Let's see what the price is though. $16.99. Uh, I don't think there's much room for us in that one so I'm gonna put that back this looks like a nice feels like a nice suede a nice work purse let's see Imco made in China and I'm not seeing any price on it Wow look at this guy back here Check that out. Is this one of those? So this, guys, is actually a concealed weapon purse. And I only know this because my mother-in-law... Ooh! My mother-in-law accidentally bought me one once. But yeah, this is for concealing here. So let's see how this one looks. $20. Does it have a brand on it? Hmm. It just says made in China. I don't know. If it wasn't 20, I'd risk it, guys. But yeah, if you find these for less than 20, I don't know. You know what? I know it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy guys but it is a concealed carry purse uh, I'm gonna regret it but I think I'm gonna put it back I just I just can't take that chance right now I feel like I hear you guys yelling at me though you know what I'm gonna give it a shot let's be crazy let's be crazy I'm gonna give it a shot guys and let you know how it goes a lot of Rosetti. I don't know. I might have to do a voiceover, guys, because music is pretty loud tonight. All right, we're gonna go back and check out, check out the hard goods. See if we can find any cute little purses. Mm. I have no way of knowing if this is real or not. The leather doesn't feel right. Oh, I see wicker. That's a cute little purse. It's a little worn though. Oh, that's cute. Skedaddle. It's like a little kid's too much. Too bad it's got some stuff on it. I don't even know if you guys can hear me over the music, but I enjoy you shopping along with me. And I'm going to try to not say guys so much in this video. That's sweet. Ooh. I see something green and bright. Okay. It's pretty packed. All right, let's go on to the hard goods. I'm not really seeing anything jump out at me and this bin is pretty darn stuffed. All right, friends, we're starting in the bakeware section and I already spotted something. Now this is a top for a moon and stars. There's no price on it, 
but I'm going to put this in because someone may be looking for a replacement. Or we may find it. So I'm going to put this in my cart. That's kind of neat. That's pretty. The shelves are packed tonight. So we're going to see what we can find. This is cute with the lemon in it, but it's got a mug. Hmm. Whoops. I'm making all the noise. Whoops. I'm stuck on a handle, guys. Hold on. Oh, there I go. The same guys again. It wants to come home with me, but I don't need it. <laughs> Alright, let's push this on down. Sean, I'll give you this, please. This did catch my eye like a nice mixing bowl. Those are cute. Seven dollars though, which makes me think the big one's going to be much more expensive. Kind of like enamelware. Oh goodness, guys. Oh goodness. This is where I need my helper, John. Mikasa Fire and Ice Strawberries Freezer to Flame. Check that out. Six dollars. Strawberry casserole. I think we're gonna give that a shot. Oh, you know what? The lid looks really pitted, guys. Oh, there I go again. No, that looks good. I think someone would like that for the cooking season bunch of roosters. Ooh, it's packed in here tonight. The shelves are packed, which is good. Cute little wool. What is this one? Quiche. I've seen that with the pies, but not with the quiche before. Here's a kind of spice of life like, but it's pretty worn. All right, friends, now we are in kind of the mugs aisle. I'm gonna see what we can find here. Oh, look at the kitty cats. Oh my goodness. Everyone needs a kitty cat. That is so cute. But I'm gonna leave it behind for $4. It's got a lot of crazing. I think I donated this guy. <laughs> These are kind of funky. There's so much stuff. So much stuff. It's a little overwhelming. I keep being drawn to these. I don't know why. Heritage Made in USA Franciscan. Four dollars. I need to be a little more selective. I'm getting a little... Let's see what these are. Oh, those are probably shattered. Those are glass. Ooh. And the bag is open. I can't get to them. Okay, five dollars for a set of one, two, three, four, five. And they're glass. We're gonna leave those though. I just listed a set and we'll see how those do. Target.
Oh, everything's like trying to fall off, jump off the shelves into my cart tonight. This is missing the handles. This would have had the wicker handle on it and it's missing the knob. Made in Japan. Ooh, lots of canister sets, but I'm trying to stay away from those right now. Ooh, here's a beautiful cloche, but the wood is pretty beat up and that is pretty beat up as well. Got some green glass. Oh, I see some Christmas glasses. Let's see what these are. These look, oh, they don't feel like, I can tell by touching them, they don't feel like a great quality. Ooh, uh oh, I see New York. I'm going in. Oh, look at that, it's a whole New York set. $7. I have some of those I got from Beth Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Okay. Ooh, these are still here. I saw these on Saturday and I picked myself. They have no maker on them. They're just nice little speckled pottery. $20 though. So we're gonna let someone else have those for their home and keep looking. Oh, would this make my set? No, I'm staying away from those. $2.99, oh, that's plastic. But that's cute. If that was more like 99 cents, I'd pick that up. I was hoping in the glass over here, I might find the other half of that Indiana glass. Some Beanie Babies, some leather. Let's see what else. And the more I think about it, I think I'm going to end up putting that purse back. Because at $20, I'm just not sure. I'll be back when the song is over. Let's see if we can find anything in the art section. I've been trying to hold the camera kind of close to me, so I'm not sure what sort of shot you guys are getting. But let's see if we see anything good in the art. Ooh, this is a pretty piece and it's lightweight. Newton's cupboard, look away. $3, that's light to ship. It is coming apart a little right there. But I think that's a keeper. We're gonna get that. Nice light frames, we like those. Let's see what else. A little Hummel wannabe. I like to look for the frame sizes. This reminds me of that one artist, but they're not signed. That does the underwater scenes. Oh, they're plate holders, okay. So those are collectible plates. There's an owl staring at me. We've got some birds. Let's see what else we can find. Just trying to get out of the way. This is cute. Summer in the country. Great little vintage she style piece. Stuff, I, ooh, what's, I see something metallic. Oh, these are neat. They're heavier though, that's the only thing. If I had a booth, I would pick these. If I had a booth, I would pick these up because these are like on fabric. Look at that, that's beautiful. But they're just too heavy for shipping. They'll sit too long. Almost makes me wish I had a booth again, almost. All right, I'm not really seeing anything else here. So now I'm gonna brave the knickknack aisle. So I've parked my cart and I come around the corner and these are the first things that catch my eye. $4.99. Looks like a collector's piece, but she, just something about her, I really, really like. I think she's a studio piece though. Yeah, she's a studio piece. Very cool. Let's see if we can find anything to add to our cart in this aisle. Otherwise, we are almost done with this little trip to Goodwill tonight, guys. I appreciate y'all coming along with me. I hope you've had fun. 
I'm trying to pop in a little more and see what I can find. This is like aluminum. This is pretty. It's like, looks Italian, TJ Maxx. They got me. They got me every time. Little Florida trivet. Oh, I love these. Now, if this was like $2.99, I would have picked it up. I no longer pick up baby planner stuff because I just it just doesn't sell for me. This duck, this duck is very interesting to me though. The duck is very interesting. Would that have been a possible light, guys? This is a possible light. Ten dollars. We're gonna check him over and get him. The neck is okay. I think this was a TV planter light. So we're gonna get that. See, there was a reason I put the purse back, so I'd have the budget for that. That was a really cool find. Oh, you know what? I wonder... I really love these vintage phones. I wonder if that other one is still over there because I regret not buying that last time. I'm gonna go look. John and I were in on Saturday. There was a really, really cool vintage phone and I didn't get it and now I totally regret not getting it. And I don't see it anywhere. So someone must have picked it up. It was really cool. It had the cameo on it and I don't see it anywhere. So someone else must have grabbed it. So we did the mug aisle, guys. And oh, what's this? There's a little bit of Halloween. <gasps> look, look, guys. Do you know what this? Oh, do you know what this is for? This is California pottery. It's the center for a lazy Susan. Five dollars. Oh, it's got a chip. It's got a chip, guys. But this goes to a lazy Susan. It's California pottery. It's a strawberry set. Second time I found one here, but damaged though, sadly. Okay, that's all they have for Halloween. There's a little Christmas here. I zoned in on this wreath because that's the sort of stuff I like. $4.99. Oh, it's got the little, someone started a project in it. All right, I'm getting a little out of focus. So let's go back to the mugs and then we're gonna wrap this one up because I need to get home and have some dinner. Let's see. We've, I don't see any cool vintage. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna see if they have any Afghans and I'm gonna do the, a real quick haul for you in the Afghan section, guys. This is kind of cool, like spaghetti glass looking. It's modern. Make sure that's in the shelf well. I don't want to walk away and hear a crash. Aw, oh, she's broken. Yep, we're going to go ahead and check out the Afghans. Alright guys, so here is going to be the quick haul for you. While I was walking away, I found this for $2.99. It is a McCoy. It is the wild strawberry. It's missing a lid, but someone could still use this as a utensil holder. $2.99. I picked this up. I don't know who this is. It reminds me of a Fenton one, but I don't think the quality is there. $6. This may stay in my collection. We got the lid for the Indiana glass. This one did not have a price, so we'll see what they do for me on that. We got the Duck Possible TV Light for $10. This Mikasa Strawberry Casserole for six. And then this Funky Purse for six. And this Art for $2.99. And now I'm actually thinking on this one, this is broken kind of right here. So I think I am gonna put this one back because I think more like $3 would be good on this one. Cause this is probably like a $15 purse. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for shopping with me. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if I missed anything and I'll see y'all soon.